yes, thanks for inviting me. Uh, appreciate the Point Cook Action Group putting on a forum like this so that we can talk to people about our priorities. My name is Liz Walsh. I'm the Victorian Socialist um, Upper House candidate for the Western Metro region. Uh, in terms of a bit about myself, I've been a political activist, a social justice campaigner for the past 25 years. I got active when I was in high school, in particular politicised around um, the first time that Pauline Hanson came onto the national political stage. There was a lot of um, widespread high school rage about her racism, her targeting in particular of people uh, from Asia, her anti-Asian immigration policies, her attacks on Indigenous people, and I was a part of student walkouts to protest against her. Um, so that's, I guess, where I got my start in, in political life, and I've continued to be uh, someone who's taken a stand against racism in particular ever since. Uh, I've spent a lot of time campaigning for refugee rights. Um, I think that both of the major parties have terrible policies when it comes to refugees, cruel and inhumane, locking people up on... Um, you know, in, in uh, detention centres on Pacific Islands, um, just outrageous. So, uh, in terms of the state election, uh, and in particular the Outer West and Point Cook, our priorities are to see you know, a huge in, um, investment in the Outer West. We think that it's an outrage the amount of um, neglect, really, of the Outer West. The fact that we don't have enough schools, that we don't have enough childcare facilities, that we don't have enough... Um, or well-funded hospitals to meet everybody's needs. Uh, the fact that uh, public transport is in such uh, an inadequate and parlous state. So, you know, we think that there needs to be a flooding of investment in the Outer West, and the Outer West has been neglected for too long. Um, part of that, I think, uh, is because the interests of big business come before the interests of working-class people in our state. Um, and what, one of the things that we think uh, needs to happen is to get people into Parliament that will shine a spotlight on uh, the fact that this uh, city is not being run in the interest of ordinary people. Uh, we want to see uh, increased schools. That's a, very much a priority for us. We think 3,000 children in a high school is totally unmanageable. But, you know, there, sure, there's been commitments in the state budget and this, you know, planning uh, down the track, but why aren't they already here? Why don't we already have enough schools to meet uh, the needs of our local residents? Uh, same with our hospital. Why is it that something like half of women who give birth in Wyndham um, Council have to travel to Sunshine Hospital uh, in order to give birth? That the Mercy Hospital is already full, that they can't uh, give birth there. Um, so, you know, these, this shouldn't be something that, oh, we're going to be promising in the future. There is a dire need now. Um, and I think that the fact that the, the state government, eight years of an Andrews government, hasn't been able to um, properly deliver for, for communities out here um, yeah, it's a real shame. Uh, one of our priorities as well is uh, that we want to see um, we want to see real wage rises. People are really struggling right now with the cost of living crisis. Our rents and our mortgages are going through the roof. Our groceries, our electricity bills. But what's not going up is our wages. And in particular, the state government is a major employer of nurses and teachers. And we talk about there being a shortage of teachers, a shortage of nurses, we can't open enough beds because there's not enough staff and so on. Well, one of the reasons for that is the fact that our um, nurses and teachers are not paid adequately. Uh, teachers just got a 1.7% uh, per year um, agreement from the Andrews government. 1.7% when there's 7% inflation. That's a huge pay cut for critical workers, for essential workers. Same with our nurses as well. It's not good enough that there's a 1.5% pay cut for the public sector that the Andrews government, which is meant to be for ordinary working class people, has implemented. So if we want to attract more people to our, nurse, to our hospitals, we want to have more teachers in our schools, our kids not being te taught by relief teachers constantly, uh, then we need to pay uh, essential workers, teachers and nurses, adequately. And that means um, getting people in parliament that will fight uh, for, um, for, for real wage rises for workers. Um, one of our passions is also that we're, we're for defending um, the environment. You know, there's big questions in, on the state level. So you know, the fact that gas drilling has uh, w once again started up under Andrews, gas drilling down the Great Ocean Road. We've also got the logging of our um, Navy forests, you know, key uh, you know, carbon stores, um, carbon tents, uh, um, resources that you know, can draw down carbon from the atmosphere. They're being logged right now, which is terrible. But locally, we're also for protecting our native 
um, our wetlands and we're for having real protections of our wetlands from real estate developers that want to try and develop right up to the very edges of our wetlands and build roads through our wetlands. We need to have strong protections uh, for our wetlands. We know that they're absolutely critical for our environment, for biodiversity um, and so on. Is that it? One minute left. One minute left. All right, what else can I say? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, public transport. We're very much a supporter of the Better Buses campaign. Uh, I just can't understand why there hasn't been a commitment from the Labor um, government so far for this very logical, uh, clear plan to be able to have 10 minute buses uh, throughout the West that would transform uh, the lives of, of residents. With a very small commitment of, you know, was it 20 or so million dollars capital investment, um, 30 million dollars um, to reorganise, we could have a dramatically better public transport system. That would mean that we could get cars off the roads. That would mean that we could deal with the enormous congestion that we experience in, um, in the outer west. You know, we, we need to see a real in, uh, investment in public transport. The Rails Future Plan is excellent. We definitely will support the west-east, um, not east-west, uh, um, uh, rail pro, um, plan as well. But that involves prioritising the needs of working class people, putting people before the interests uh, of profit, before the interests of big business, and also seeing that there is a segregation in our city, east and west. So let's make west the best. Thank you.